Welcome back. Mayor Michael Hancock joins us now on Denver 7 for our bi-weekly interview. Thanks for being here, Mayor. Uh, well, hello. Good to see you as always. Always nice to see you, too. We want to start with the big news of the morning. ABC News reports the city of Aurora has agreed to pay Elijah McLean's family $15 million. That is the highest settlement in the history of our state. Your reaction this morning and what message do you think this sends about police oversight? It's a message to all of our law enforcement uh, agencies around the country that, uh, you know, America has turned its attention to this being a very critical issue, a public health issue, and that the expectation is that you will honor life and honor humanity on the streets, even though we suppose we suspect of a crime. And so, you know, as this goes forward, um, you know, you're now setting the bar at a, at a level that uh, certainly will get the, let's hope we get the attention of all public policy people, as well as our law enforcement around the country. Our prayers and thoughts continue to go out to Elijah McLean family. He should not be dead today. And, and I, I think this settlement proves that uh, the, 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 the belief that something went wrong, terribly wrong, and should not have occurred. Mayor, our homeless situation always seems to be heightened this time of year as the weather turns colder. Uh, there's a safe outdoor space opening near Denver Health, another one I think planned for the Clayton neighborhood. Are there any additional housing options opening as the temperatures get colder? Yeah, you know, Brian, we always uh, have prepared an emergency or contingency plan for um, our inclement weather here in Denver as temperatures drop. Obviously, we have our, uh, our voucher program to get people into hotels and motels during the night as well as opening up the emergency shelter with our rec centers and expanding opportunities at our existing shelter. So we'll continue those efforts. It works every year. We uh, are pretty successful getting people out, but we never stop on a daily basis our cadence and efforts to get people off the streets and connected with critical services. And what we know is that when we have them either in our shelter system or in our safe outdoor sites, we are much more successful in connecting them to those critical services they need. And, and we have to stay on top of that because that's the only way we're going to be able to help people and help them effectively. Uh, Mayor, youth violence continues to be a problem. Most recently, there was a shooting in Aurora that hurt six teens, but it's not a specific problem just to Aurora. What is the city doing to address this? You know, uh, we should number do number one, not normalize these type of incidents. So unfortunately, we hit a wave over the years where we hear these stories. It's like, okay, another gang shooting or another random shooting uh, in our community. We can't normalize this. And two, we have to recognize that we got to work across regional lines to solve this. We have a regional compact with the city of Aurora. And as a result, we've, we've been able to rush usher in a lot of resources to be partnered with Aurora as they work to solve this crime. Our officers are over there helping them trying to figure this out. Uh, right now, as well as some of the softer uh, efforts necessary to go in and help our young people deal with this crisis because it impacts their, their emotional and psychological well-being as well when these sort of things happen in their community. But it's very important, I can't understate this, as a community, we should be incensed by what happened at Nome Park. We should be upset and be ready to move with a sense of urgency uh, to, to, to abate these type of incidents from happening again, and again, to not normalize them in our communities. Mayor, uh, before we let you go here, a, a proof of vaccination is now required at unseated events of 500 people or more in, in six Denver metro counties. Do you foresee any additional uh, COVID safety measures as we see the number of cases uh, rise? Right, whatever, let me just say this, whatever we're doing, I think uh, as the governor pointed out and demonstrated through this order, it has to be at the very least regional. And uh, certainly we need to be looking at this statewide. The reality is, is that Denver is not an island and that we can't just have a mask order or any sort of order that just impacts the city of Denver. We have really urged the governor to act in a regional, at the very least a regional uh, manner or, or statewide. Uh, we, and we have to at some, time, at some point get to uh, addressing the smaller gatherings in our restaurants and bars and, and what have you uh, with some sort of uh, uh, mandate that you have to be vaccinated to get in there. That's the only way I think we're gonna really effectively get at uh, this, there's this current spread and rising cases. Um, you know, Denver's done well. Eight out of 10 of our residents are vaccinated. Our case rates are lower than most in the, in the region. Uh, but we, so we cannot just single out Denver. We have to make sure that we're working to address the, the regional at the very least and the statewide uh, in our efforts to, to deal with this situation. Yeah, especially as ski season ticks up. So thank you. Absolutely. Mayor. Yes, thank you, Mayor, for joining us this morning. All right, guys, take care. All right.